Congress of the Key Reserve and Full Eagle Joint Military Exercises for a preemptive surprise attack on the DPRK from the ground, sea and sky are at their height. The Marine Corps of the U.S. Imperialist Aggressive Forces, reinforced from Okinawa of Japan, and the 2nd Division of the South Korean Puppet Marine Corps conducted a frantic street fight exercise in Potsdam area of Kyongyi province, the 26th Division of the South Korean Grand Force, a naval exercise of mechanized forces in the Dongducheon and the Dyeoncheon areas of Gyeonggi province, and the 50th Division, guerrilla exercise for special warfare in Daegu, and the 17th Division in Incheon, setting up a war frenzy. On the 16th and the 17th, the 1st, 5th and 6th and the capital corps of the South Korean Puppet Army conducted exercises, concentrating the directions of the main and auxiliary attacks on the western sector of the front and the east coast. The South Korean civilian and reserve forces and police force have switched over to a wartime system and huge U.S. imperialist aggressive forces and South Korean puppet military forces are conducting warlike exercises for ground operations, street fights and forced river crossing drills combined with ball firing. The nuclear-powered ship carrier Stannis of the Navy of the U.S. Imperialist Aggressive Forces has been deployed on the sea east of Uljin of South Korea. Two destroyers at the Donghae port, the flagship of the U.S. 7th Fleet Blue Ridge, a destroyer, cruiser, vehicle cargo ship, and Canadian escort ships at the Busan port, a nuclear submarine at the Jinghae port, two destroyers at the Mokpo port, a guided missile destroyer in the sea north of the Jeju Island, and two destroyers at the Pyongtek port. The nuclear-powered ship carrier of the U.S. Imperialist Aggressive Forces, George Washington, based at the Japanese Yokosuka port, has been involved in the joint military exercises. The first piratic forces are frantically conducting exercises for combined fire attack, takeoff and landing of deck planes, missile attack, submarine warfare, and maritime mobile exercise and large-scale landing operation exercises on the east and west coast in cooperation with the South Korean Pact Naval Destroyer, Sezong Dorong and other warships of the 1st, 2nd and 3rd fleets of the Puppet Navy within the framework of the Key Reserve and Full Eagle Joint Military Exercises. The fighters of the 5th Air Force of the U.S. Imperialist Aggressive Forces from the Japanese space and the fighter bombers and assault planes of the 7th Air Force of the U.S. Imperialist Aggressive Forces in South Korea are zealous in the target striking exercise almost every day. On the 16th and the 17th, the trigger happy U.S. imperialist and the South Korean puppet military warhawks mobilized more than 800 planes and conducted air fight, in-depth target striking, close air support and air lifting operation exercises. Synchronizing with the provocative joint military exercises, the warhawks of the U.S. imperialist aggressive forces are conducting vicious air surveillance and photographing espionage on the DPRK. The Central Association of Korean Nationals in Russia made a public statement on the 14th denouncing the Lee Number Puppet War Manias for the authentic not fighting war exercises in collusion with the U.S. imperialists. The Chinese internet homepage Leoning Defense Education Network on the 10th posted an article under the title Demonstration Against the U.S. South Korea Joint Military Exercises Exploded in South Korea. The General Secretary of the National Guidance Council at the end of the day of Indonesia issued a press statement on the 11th, denouncing the U.S. and South Korean war force for their joint military exercises. In the press statement, he condemned the reckless moves of the U.S. and South Korean war force for a new nuclear war in the Korean Peninsula and strongly demanded an immediate end to the nuclear war exercises. Fierce struggle is going on across South Korea against the joint military exercises of the U.S. imperialist and the South Korean puppet war maniacs against the DPRK. After the war maniacs announced their plan for the key resolve and full eagle joint military exercises, civic and public organizations, including the South Korean Progressive Solidarity, held a press conference against it before the puppet Ministry of National Defense and the anti-war peace movement organizations made public statements and appeals one after another condemning the war exercises of the U.S. imperialists and the puppet war maniacs. 
significant public organizations, including the Confederation of Trade Unions and the South headquarters of the Pan National Alliance for Korea's Reunification, held meetings in different parts of Seoul in demand of an end to the North Pacific War exercises. Enraged that the North Pacific Joint Military Exercises, launched by the U.S. imperialists and the Limyongbuk Pact War Hawks, the South Korean people wished a more vigorous struggle. Meetings and demonstrations were fierce before the Gyeongsan U.S. military base in Seoul and the Operation Command of the Pact Navy in Busan and at other places. Around the U.S. Embassy in Seoul too, the 114th Anti-U.S. Solidarity Meeting and Students' Anti-U.S. Demonstration were held fiercely. Different forms of struggle went on in all parts of South Korea in denunciation of the traitors offering everything to the military exercises. Meanwhile, the regional organizations under the South Committee for implementing the June the 15th Joint Declaration, the headquarters of the struggle of the youth and students' solidarity for the implementation of the June the 15th Joint Declaration for resignation of the Lin Yongbuk government, the headquarters of the movement for withdrawal of the U.S. forces and different other organizations issued statements, protest letters and commentaries to declare a more dynamic struggle against war and for peace. The Seoul Solidarity for implementing the South North Korean Declaration in South Korea issued a statement on the 13th denouncing the South Korean public security authorities for the formation of an exclusive investigation headquarters comprised of more than 100 policemen and the investigation into the organizations and citizens that participated in the candlelight struggle against the import of American beef last year. And that's the end of the news read by Kim Hyun-ho and Chong Chol. This is the Voice of Korea.